I agree. Uh, Bitcoin drops 85% every three or four fucking years. Why is it going to be different this time? I think it's still, I always say, well, first, I think we're going to have another big drop. Once it crosses 100K, which I do think it will, I think we'll have a big drop there as well. But to answer why I think it will continue on and not, is just to keep it as layman as it's possible. This is the fact that now you actually have banks and big businesses becoming holders where they do sell at a dip or they sell at a loss, they are going to go out of business. And at their uh, at their size, I think it's one of those too big to fail. They can't let it happen. They won't let it happen. And they'll give with other businesses and make those deals to keep the game going if that's what the game is. Let, let those are my you, thoughts. Let me give you some figures. Parabola, yeah. I, I called the top on a day, by the way. You want to go look on Twitter. Green line, Parabola up. Red line, fall out of parabola. Every time Bitcoin falls out of parabola, what's it do? 85% dump. Overperformance to the downside. Did we get a 40% dump? Hell no. We got a 55% dump. Aw, shit. Overperformance to the bottom. Okay, where's our bounce? Okay, we went down to 30. Where'd we bounce to? Did we bounce to 55? No. 50? No. 45? No. Aw, this is a limp dick bounce. Oh shit, where's my bounce, dog? I got Michael Saylor on TV talking about buying a billion dollars. El Salvador shit. bounces, baby. Yeah. 40K. Yeah, we 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 a motherfucking legal tender now, man. We getting respect by the nation states. They fumbling. Can't get a bounce to 45. Come on now. Come on now. What <laughs> 